Mounts, BBG, Chapter 17, Sentence 2, starts off with uh, what is the obvious subject, hoi mathetai, which is the disciples. Uh, the verb lines up and he gives it to you, said. Then you also have um, auto, which is in dative, so you're going to kind of go, okay, the disciples said, and you hopefully know this is singular as well, uh, to him, that makes perfect sense. So the disciple said to him, and you know you could put a quotation mark in here because that's really what you have going on. And here's what they said to him. Uh, then you have something of an expression because you have this dia, which hopefully in your head uh, translates to because of. And then you have this interrogative because you see that uh, acute accent there on the iota. So because of why? Or because of what, you know, because of who, uh, or whom, you know. Uh, so kind of here, because of why, or, or, you know, as an expression, for what reason, you know, um, because of what, you know, that that kind of idea, and you know, I think a good translation would be something like, for what reason. You know, or, or just simply why is because because of why is what they're asking him. So, but again, it is an expression, and these two should be taken together in that expression. And again, you could probably translate that uh, two or three different ways and be just fine uh, as long as you get the idea across. Um, and I think as good as anything else, for what reason would be a good good translation here. Uh, for what reason, and then you have this uh, prepositional phrase within, in, and parabolize, hopefully you, you recognize that as parables. You also recognize that as a, whoops, got to do that the other way, don't I? Uh, you recognize that as a, um, uh, a dated plural because of the iota followed by sigma. So, you know, that lines up with the N. It's one of the possibilities for N, of course. So, um, for what reason in parables? And then here's, again, you know, you, you knew you were probably looking at a question. So, here's your question mark. Uh, so, then you're going to turn this around to say, do you speak? Because, again, this is going to be from Laleo. You're going to look at that circumflex and you're going to say, okay, what kind of verb is this? Well, it's a contract verb. The contract verb plus this uh, circumflex tells you that it's just a standard thing. You just need to translate present active indicative and O ace a omnity uci, so ace second singular. So you speak and then out toys to them. Again, you have this dative plural. Uh, from Autos, so to them. So going back to what they say, the disciples said to him, uh, for what reason do you speak to them in parables? Very, very common. I'll give you a heads up here too. Very, very common in Greek to put a, a prepositional phrase before a verb where in English we'll move it until uh, we'll move it after the we'll we'll say it after the verb. So just get used to you know doing the little gymnastics there of taking that prepositional phrase out and tossing it onto the end. Uh, you'll find that it very easily, very quickly makes much more sense uh, to pull it out from where it is and toss it to the end. So the disciples said to him, "For what reason do you speak to them in parables?"